And the protests do continue in the U.S. now more peacefully against, against the death of George Floyd at the hands of police. The protests have spread worldwide too, including here in Seoul this weekend. Our Choi Won Jong was there. The protesters on Saturday, many of them wearing black shirts, held signs in both Korean and English, calling for an end to racism. More than 100 people have gathered here in Seoul to show their solidarity with Black Lives Matter movement. And they're marching with one message, social justice. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. Um, to support Black Lives Matter. How come? Yeah. Because we're sick and tired of all the racism that goes on against, especially me as a black person, we're just sick and tired of what's going on. The protesters were chanting phrases like Black Lives Matter and I can't breathe. And though police were on the scene, they were able to make their voices heard without any interference. The protesters are far from the state of Minnesota where George Floyd was killed, but they say their movement is global. I mean, at the end of the day, racism is not uh, a problem that's exclusive and isolated to the United States. Um, I think it's a problem in humanity and um, it's something that needs to be addressed globally. I hope we can build a world in which we can breathe. Even though we live in different countries, I think the world we want to live in is the same. We'll work together and create a world free of discrimination. In Korea, more than 120 organizations signed a joint statement last Friday paying tribute to George Floyd and criticizing police brutality. The government, however, has not yet made an official statement on them or the worldwide movement. Choi Won-jong, Arirang News.